Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker, Cultivating the Learning. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to get your spreadsheet to print properly. And this is printing both on paper and to print it out as a PDF. So really, that means it's going to be a digital print, not an analog print. So um, first, I'm going to select certain cells to let you see that you can print just a certain portion of a spreadsheet if you need to. And so I selected that first, and now I'm going to go to File, Print. You can also use keyboard shortcuts, which are Control and Command P. Now on here, I have my, I have my um, heading at the top. And right now it is set to print just the current sheet or current worksheet. I can also choose the entire workbook and you'll see that now I have six pages to print instead of what I had before. Um, and as I go down here, each of the worksheet, each worksheet is being printed. And these are also notes that were attached to specific cells. So in this case, it was Fred was absent for three days during this unit. Um, and that might be important to know. So you can put notes that are hidden within cells, but they will print out also um, on paper or into a PDF file. So that's if I do workbook. Now, I can also choose selected cells, and you'll see that these are just the cells that I selected um, before I went into the printer dialog button. So once, I'm, once I've um, selected the correct one, and I'm going to go with just current sheet for our needs now, um, I can change the letter to be legal if I need to, or leave it at letter or choose whatever of these I need. Um, I can also switch from landscape to portrait here. And notice I have if then test one, and then I have these labels of proficient, and they're all fitting in this spreadsheet. Now, right now it is set to fit to width. If I do normal, this is the size that it actually is in the spreadsheet. And notice I can't see the entire spreadsheet. It goes on to multiple pages. So if you want it just to squeeze in, and no matter what, you want it to print out on one sheet, choose fit to width. I can also change my margins here. I can choose custom breaks. So let's say that in my custom breaks, it opens up and it has all these blue lines. Right now, I can change this so that it will print at a different place. The break in the page will be between G and H instead of between H and I. I can also come down and I can move this hard break to be up or down. And then I can confirm those breaks. So now I'm telling the computer where I want the break to be on the page. The power, the real power is underneath formatting and headers. So mine were turned on to show the grid lines and to show notes. So if I take them off, now I don't have any grid lines. And you might need that if you are using a spreadsheet to create an invoice and you want to have a header at the top or you want to have something um, formatted specially, you would turn those grid lines off and you would actually um, choose which cells would have boxes around it inside of formatting inside the spreadsheet. Um, if you don't want the notes to show because maybe that's personal information and that should not be shared with whomever is receiving this, um, this file, you can turn that off as well. So I'm going to turn the grid lines back on. I can choose the alignment. Uh, sometimes I want it to be centered perfectly on the page, both horizontally and vertically. And you'll be able to see here now that it is centered both horizontally and vertically. You can see it's more drastic on this page here. Okay. Um, or maybe I don't. Maybe I want it to be left aligned. And maybe I want it to be at the top of the page so that it flows more nicely. Um, now, for headers and footers, when I click on this to expand it and scroll up, I have it set so that you can see each of these. So right now I'm going to turn them off and go through each one one at a time. When I click on page numbers, now I have page numbers down here at the bottom of the page. When I click on workbook title, proficient practice file shows up here because that is also what is up here on my uh, tab 
I'm not sure if you can see that in the screencast. Uh, the sheet name is what was down on the tab, and now that is over here on the right-hand side. I don't have any ability to change where they show up. I can put the current date and the current time because if I print these out multiple times, I need to know which one is more recent. And so there, there I am. So if I have to print stuff out for the board maybe, or for a principal, I'm gonna wanna have those things there. Now, if I uncheck repeat frozen rows and repeat frozen columns, when I move on to this second page, I don't know what these numbers are for because there are no headers, because I need row one to be at the top of this page. So in a previous tutorial, I explained how to freeze columns and rows, so you can find that or Google it. And I need all of these to also be at the top of page two. So I am going to choose to turn on repeat frozen rows, and now I can see that these are quiz grades, and it's last name, first name. Now, on these farther sheets, I don't know who owns each of these grades because I can't see the person's name. So I also need to freeze the columns out in the spreadsheet and then I need to turn on that I want these to repeat on each page so now I can see it. Now once I've done that, I hit next. And now I should get a pop-up window for my printer dialog. And normally it would go to a printer. So it might be chosen to go to this printer. But what I need you to know also is that instead of printing it out on paper, you can create a digital PDF and just hit the change button and choose save as PDF. And then when I hit save, I can choose what I'm going to call it and where I'm going to put it. Down here it says that it is a PDF. And now I can just hit save. And it's saying replace because I already practiced this. So you can save as a PDF. You can print onto a um, paper. You can leave the grid lines, take the grid lines off, put headers on, put the file name on, all different kinds of things just from the print dialog window.